Hi, I'm Natalie with Eminence Organic Skin Care and welcome to In The Mix. Well, we've had a few questions lately around protecting our skin and in particular, I thought I would share about some of the big stuff we have around us and it's called pollution. So pollution is a real thing. It really does affect our environment as we know, thus we try to be as green as possible, but also do we ever stop to think about what pollution is actually doing to us physically and how it can actually affect our skin? So when we think about pollution and in the skincare industry, we're hearing the term anti-pollution skincare. So I thought I would take a moment with you today and let's talk about it a little bit and how we can actually protect our skin from these environmental stressors that we see or not see every day. So when we're thinking about it, there's some research that has been shared that it only takes about two hours of exposure in a heavily polluted environment to affect our skin's natural antioxidants by depleting them by 25%. So that's a pretty big deal when we consider that most of us are outdoors or in our environments for at least two hours every day, um, or if not longer, 24 hours. So what I'm trying to say to all of us today is looking at how do we understand pollution, how it's affecting our skin, and how can we do the best preventative care as possible? So our tutorial today will all be about a great routine that you can do at home, a.m. and p.m. today. So let's think about that for a moment. So if we think about pollution floating around all over the place, the good news is that it actually doesn't go right into us problem is it just sits on the top of everything. So maybe it's on your coffee table at home or on the windshield of your car, but think about what it's doing to our skin. So it's actually just sticking on top of us. So this will create like almost like a bouncing effect and this is what can cause the skin to show the signs of redness, the signs of dryness, and maybe a little bit of a breakout from time to time. So how do we prevent this from happening? My favorite thing is always to look at, well, if we're depleted in antioxidants, we need to think about antioxidants. So when I think of great antioxidants out there, vitamin C, amazing, very powerful. Vitamin E is also excellent and a very powerful one. And then in the newer uh, change, in especially dietary things, we're also hearing a lot about microgreens and microgreens having super duper powerful antioxidants. They're also known as second generation antioxidants. So these are some things to keep in mind when we're looking at how do we replenish what has been depleted. The routine I wanna recommend is we wanna look at how do we A, remove all of that stuff off the surface of our skin, and then looking at what we're gonna put into it or on top of it next so that we are able to minimize the signs of maybe redness, irritation, as well as possible breakouts that we might see. So my first one, of course, is always gonna be our beautiful stone crop cleansing oil. Uh, and what we've learned, and you can check some of our past In The Mix videos where we talk a little bit more about oils in general, but cleansing oils in particular are excellent because they they really do lift and suspend. So they're able to, uh, you put it on, you massage it into the skin and it's lifting it off and then a beautiful warm towel removal. Now, next, what are we gonna do? We wanna do a serum. So obviously, I'm always gonna grab the best serum I can that's gonna defend my skin the most, and I always reach for our um, Citrus and Kale Potency and E Serum. And this is applied just you know, one or two layers, depending on how you're feeling that day, and you can do this one a.m and PM. And then we want to look to the next level of ultimate um, defense or protection uh, for, from our environment is, of course, SPF products. So SPF provides a beautiful sunscreen to our skin, and we know that one of the biggest culprits in that pollution environment is UV damage. So how do we make sure we're protecting our skin from that is to use a really good sunscreen. So my routine today will also include a beautiful uh, two products from our Liliquay collection, which is all about mineral defense. We have our uh, moisturizer, which has a beautiful SPF of 33, and then we have our primer. So those of us out there who love to wear makeup and have a glow afterwards, this is going to be your favorite. And this one has an SPF of 30, uh, 23 pardon me. So how do we work with all of these together? So obviously we cleanse, that's not a problem. So I want to show you is that you first take your serum 
So I've cleansed the skin, everything is happy. One little drop of serum for my hand will suffice. And I'm just gonna blend it in. And I love Eminence serums because they literally go on and in and they're done, which is fantastic. So if you are using a different serum um, that might be a little bit more gel-based, has a bit more tackiness to it, just allow that tackiness to settle in the skin first. So I'm, I'm looking for a nice, smooth uh, finish before I start my next application. Now, another question comes up, well, if I'm using a primer, do I use it before or after my moisturizers, etc.? cetera? Um, your best bet is uh, there, when you're using a primer, especially if it has um, a mineral base and it is a SPF, you want to have that on as your last piece before you A, apply cosmetics or your carry on with your day. Uh, so for demonstration purpose today, because we have a moisturizer and a primer, I'm just going to show how those work. And they both contain Liliqua, which is this little fabulous guy, which really is passion fruit. So any of you who love passion fruit juice, you're already doing a good thing for yourself. Uh, so we have the beautiful moisturizer. Remember, a little goes a long way. And for those of you out there who don't want to use a primer or using a makeup afterwards, my high suggestion, especially when you're using um, SPF products, is apply one layer, allow it to rest in the skin for about a minute, and then apply a second layer. This way then you know that you're getting the best coverage possible for your daytime activities. So just for show it, you only need a very small amount. So what makes this collection unique is that it's an all mineral. So this is to show that it'll be the perfect sunscreen and it's reef safe for any of you who are out there um, in the ocean and taking care of that environment. So what happens when you use an all mineral SPF? is that there's going to be a little a bit of time that's needed for it to allow it to settle into the skin. When I timed it at home and when I use it, I'm sitting at about a 30 to 60 seconds to allow it just to settle through. So you can see in comparison, both of my hands, you have this settling effect that's happening, but it's leaving behind luminosity. It's brightening, it's bringing that beautiful energy back to the skin, really almost looking like you've had a really good night's sleep. This is the primer, same amount, very, very little is needed because, well, it's eminence. So we just need one little guy here, give you a little squirt, and you do the exact same thing. So allow it to go into the skin beautifully, and remember, you need a little bit of time. So as you let that time set in, you're going to start to see the change in the skin. It's going to start to settle in. It's going to start to be more of a um, settled into the tissue. So you're not going to get that greasy or slippery effect on the skin, but you're going to be left behind with that beautiful result of brightness or a primer effect to the skin. So this, my friends, and just so you know, it smells amazing in here right now. It has a gorgeous, uh, very uplifting scent, so anybody's going to be really happy to use this, male or female. What about nighttime? Right? So we've gone through the day and then we're going to go home, but we've still been exposed to the environment and we are still exposed to our environment when we're sleeping, meaning that the, the pollution or pollutants or the fancy word, particulate matter, is still floating around in our, in our home. This could be due to cleaning supplies that you have. It could be just laundry detergents, but just know that even burning a scented candle, right? If you're using it, it's creating particulate matter in your home. So we wanna make sure that we're also protecting our skin while we sleep. And my first reach, of course, as I mentioned, so don't forget you wanna cleanse your skin, remove all your makeup, remove any of the impurities that have had throughout the day. Then you wanna follow with your beautiful serum. So in this case, of course, we were talking about our potency and serum. But one of my uh, go-tos is of course our Lotus Detox Overnight Treatment. I don't know if you guys can see this today, but there are little tiny green specks in here and they're little spheres and they're packed full of jojoba. And what this will do, this entire product is excellent because it's going to protect our skin from what they call transepidermal water loss. What does that mean? It just means that while we sleep, we lose water in our skin. This is why we wake up so dehydrated or sometimes a bit extra oily. This is gonna create a beautiful balance in your skin and you'll wake up bright, shiny, and new. If it's not enough, because it's about a medium to lightweight moisturizer or treatment, just add your favorite nighttime care moisturizer right over the top of it. So there you have it, the perfect skincare routine that will help you improve the appearance of your skin when it's been exposed to sun and pollution. I just wanted to share a little something with you. 
now you can actually take a look at my skin now and you can see the difference. You can see that now that it has settled beautifully and it's left with a beautiful glow. And just so you know, I'm actually wearing the primer today underneath my Sun Defense Mineral so you get this really beautiful effect. Thank you so much again for taking time for In The Mix and joining us. And if you want to see more, don't forget to hit subscribe and also hit that little bell so that you'll know when future episodes are up and running. And of course, you want to subscribe to our other uh, social media platforms. I'll catch you next time. Have a great day.